Hello, how are you doing? Today, what I'm going to do is show you how to actually cut. Using a Torch browser allows you to quickly save um, videos that are posted on. Once again, part of the problem with um, videos when streaming is that if you have a poor connectivity to the internet, um, you'll get stuttering, delays, and it can make it a real problem, especially for behavior management in the classroom. So what we'd recommend is using the Torch browser, which can easily let you download videos. Um, to do that, first thing you're going to need to do is download the Torch browser. Go ahead and show you. The Torch browser is a free um, browser that looks just like Chrome. It's running off the same kernel or code. It's free and it can be found by just typing in Torch browser your search. And if you go to, I'd recommend just going directly to torchbrowser.com. As you'll see, the logo looks almost like Chrome. Torch is based off the same code. And you get all the same benefits as using the Chrome browser, so it can remember your favorites in your history. <clears throat> If you go ahead and hit download, it'll download to your computer. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. I'm going to switch from the Chrome browser here. I'm just going to go ahead and type in Torch. Select it. And it starts up. You'll notice it's almost identical to Chrome. The only difference is if you notice in the upper right-hand corner, it has a button for media and another one for torrents. It even has music and games that you can download and play within the browser itself. But you'll also notice it brought in all my um, bookmarks from Chrome. And once again, you could also log in directly if you want um, to your Google account. But how this works is if I go ahead and type in, for example, how to use Torch browser to Google search. And then I go ahead and go to videos. Um, oh, by the way, you'll notice that it automatically by default goes to ask.com. I really don't like that. And to change that, all you have to do is go into the settings in the upper right hand corner and go, um, you can change that to make it use by default Google. So if I go here, search, and I do manage search, you can delete ask.com, you can switch it to Google, make it default, and then go ahead and remove this. I don't need that, I don't need AOL, I don't use Yahoo, sometimes I use that. So if I go back, to, let's say, for example, using Torch Browser here. Automatically, in the upper right-hand corner, I have a download. Go ahead and pause this. I have a download button for video. It's not grayed out any longer. If I click on that, it's going to start downloading. In the lower left-hand corner, you'll notice it's downloading it. It's going to make it an MP4, which is playable in all different um, video programs on both Mac and PC. If you go to Yahoo directly, or YouTube directly, I should say, and let's say I just go ahead and click on this one here, it doesn't really matter what video, pause it. If I were to download this video from YouTube, once again, it starts to work, no problem. 
Um, once they're done, that's it. You can go ahead and stream your video to your classroom and not have to worry about any delays whatsoever.